Okay, so I just thought I'd make a quick video on what I got from eBay. I know some of you will hate this because most of you don't like flybacks, but also some of you do like flybacks. I got this for about £5 because I got it for 99p, so all it cost me was 99p plus the postage and packaging. And these are all new. Got one flyback. a Nokia. Nope, that's a, if you can see that, a diamond. I haven't got a clue what it is. But anyway, one fly back. Let's fit from the box. Another fly back. That one just came in a bag, that one didn't come with a box. That one appears to be the same make again. Yeah, that's not too bad. I did notice something, which I might be being a bit dumb here, but this one seems to have two, only one suction cup, but two main leads coming out of it. I don't know what that's for because I don't really have much to do with flybacks. I don't normally play with them. It's got the um, screen adjust on the side and everything, but as I say, I don't know why that's got two. So if any of you out there know why, maybe you could let me know. That'd be rather kind. When I think about it, it's probably just a screen adjustment, but I'm not used to seeing two red ones. Normally it would be a black wire like on that one. So yeah, it's probably just me being dumb, but there. We have another one in the box. It's quite hard to undo these bags with one hand. So it's new. That one's a Nokia. Didn't even know Nokia made flybacks, but there. They probably made flybacks before they made mobile phones. So we've, got, we've got another flyback. And another Nokia one. Have a look. That one also new. Yeah, that one hasn't got a high voltage lead. Well, that's really much of a problem. I'm sure, I can find another one of those somewhere. And we have another flyback. So that one there, but they look almost identical. That one, go a long way up, is a, I have no idea, it's a fat 3629. No idea, but anyway, what I also got, the last thing in the box, was a what I can only presume is a high voltage tripler. Yeah. Now, I've never actually used or seen a high voltage tripler before. So I suppose instead of being lazy, I should get on Google. But, if any of you guys want to tell me how I... Uh, why one of these up or what is how it connects in or whatever I've got one main basically one main lead that comes out so I'm going to put my knee on it one main lead that comes out which is a lot thicker than the rest 
one. It's just got a little cap on it. And then, that way, two more short ones. Yeah, I have no idea how how they work, but it is, if I can read that, SLP119342. Don't know, I'm pretty certain it's a high voltage tripler anyway, that's all I can assume it is. So yeah, and it seems to be all mounted in resin, I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, if any of you guys know what that is, be rather handy if you could tell me how to use it or whatever. But yeah, I just thought I'd share with you what I got from eBay. For, I think it was five pound, five pound something silly. Anyway, I thought it was quite a bargain, a bit of a find. But anyway, thanks for watching.